Mills on first down. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. To try again after the sack, Mills. And that one too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick touchdown, Carolina. A big play there, 55 yards. And the Panthers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Point after, right down the middle. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. So that winds up a seven play drive all told. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season. And in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some strides week to week, and now he's handling the different type of coverages that he's... The ball's out. McCaffrey lost it. is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home, the next guy comes through. And he loses the football a second time. And the Vikings pick up the football. He's at the 40, the 20. And they are gonna bring this one back. It's a fumble return, a scoop and score for the Vikings. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Carolina getting set to take the field. And in just about every game we see, partner, what do we do when we look at the stat sheet? We go right to the turnover differential. Without a doubt, because when we see that, that pretty much tells the tale of the game. And I know there's still plenty of time to go, but you've got to take care of the football in order to win it. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. You're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. The Panthers on third down. They've been near perfect, four for five to this point. This is third and nine. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. This is fielded at the 27. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. And we spotlight Derrick Henry now. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. 
But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. Big Derek Brown making the stop. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Operating from the gun, Dawson. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, Dawson. He'll find Smith Marset complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Henry up the middle. And he's brought down. 79 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Another fine carry from the NFL's rushing leader and quarterbacks typically dominating the MVP balloting, but I think you got to give this guy serious consideration, don't you? I agree totally. I mean, he's leading the league in rushing, and let's face it, partner, the running back renaissance in the NFL, it's real, and it's really helping teams along the way. He's a prime example. You got to give him strong consideration for MVP talk. So an incomplete pass a moment ago, and that leads to second and goal. Back to throw. Dawson. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Amir Smith Marset with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Vikings have taken a two touchdown lead now. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the lead now up to 14. So that drives seven plays in length. And it all culminates in a touchdown for Minnesota. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. To throw, Mills. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Daniil Hunter with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. That's three sacks now, and that's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team... They lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And it will be Vikings ball, first and 10. Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Second down, they go again with Henry. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there, and now it's third down in inches. They'll try to run for the first with Henry, and he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. 
that's about what you would expect since they're so efficient on picking up third downs in the top five in the NFL. It's all a mindset, and I guarantee you, it started in the offseason. Third down's important to them. They find a way to pick them up in a very good clip. A first down carry for Henry. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 101 yards for him now on the ground as he goes over the century mark here. And I'd say he's ready for the playoffs ahead, no doubt. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a handoff to Chandler. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Brian Burns, the one to bring him down. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still wanting to move at a nice pace. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That's complete to Smith Marset. Touchdown, Vikings! Amir Smith Marset his way to a monster game three first half touchdowns and the Vikings take a three touchdown lead I'll let you do the analysis partner but with every touchdown pass his young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had I just continue to be more and more impressed let's both do the analysis impressed aren't we both yeah I mean and why shouldn't we be we've seen him improve throughout the year we've seen him settle in now and you can see the confidence of the team has grown his confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen. And it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and they'll take over at the 25. And as this offense makes their way back out, NFC playoff race time, we give you a look at what's going on there. And the division title, that's out of reach. We know that. This is as good a spot, Charles, as they're going to get. That first wild card and the number five overall seed. Barton is not out of the question, especially with the seven seeds that they have now in the playoffs. If you do win and the other wild card teams win in the first round, you could find yourself with a home game in the divisional round. Now, we know that's not likely, but it's not out of the question. Bottom line, you have to win to put yourself in that position. On first and 10, Mills. Over the middle, it's complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, McCaffrey. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. Muscle damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Throwing, Mills. Over the middle, hauled in by Shark. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. Now Lewis here on first down. And he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. McCaffrey is in. Touchdown, Carolina.
A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay 